Hello everyone. I'm using QuickTime on my Mac to uh, provide this tutorial for you. We are in Google Chat and in order to get to Google Chat you go to chat.google.com. You'll notice um, that I have uh, three sections on the left. I've got a starred section, a people section, and a room section. There's also down here a bot section that we're not interested in. These are the three main sections and we're focusing today on the room section. This will allow you to create a room where you can meet your students and chat through text in real time. You will notice that I have added Tim Miller, Donnie, and Kelly to this shared area. And if I need to add more people to this room, I just would click this blue button and add additional people. Um, how did I do this? I went up and clicked on the left hand side in the area that says find people, rooms, and bots. It should really say add slash find people, rooms, and bots. When I click in here, it reveals the ability to create a room. Once I click on create room, I get to name this room. So I will name it span 111 section 01. And then I will click the create button. Once I do that, this will bring me back around to my main screen. And you see that I have just now created span 111 section 01. Now I can click the blue button and add people. So I will go ahead and type in a student's last name and you see that Ronald Tran comes up. So I can add Ron with a click. And I will continue adding my students. Notice down here by default, the box is checked for notify people via email, and you do want to do that. So you will click the button send. I don't want to confuse Ron, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Next, we have this button here, a new thread. So I can um, orient the support uh, or the discussion by typing in what we're going to be focusing on in this particular discussion thread. So I've pasted to my keyboard, uh, to my clipboard, this line so you didn't have to watch my bad typing. Today we will focus on answering questions about last week's homework. So I hit the enter key or the return key and now this shows up and students can um, reply and ask their questions. If I want to continue the discussion in a new path or um, focusing on a new subject I should say, I will click new thread and give the students the context for the next um, topic. And this is all there is to it.